the poor peddler of Swafum. Once upon a time in the long, long ago, in the village of Swafum in Norfolk, there lived a poor peddler in an orchard beside an oak tree in a hut that had no roof. And the reason it had no roof was because after a whole day of peddling his wares, which could be a mended shoe or buttons or jams and jellies sold by the old lady around the corner, or candles made of fragrant oranges. After a whole day of peddling his wares, he would lie in his bed and he'd look at the stars and he'd count them, imagining they were coins and they were his and that he was rich. But what good is fortune? If all it can buy is dreams. So every day, with a pack on his bag and a dog by his heels under the wide Norfolk sky, he would trudge from door to door, knocking, peddling. And always wishing for night so he could lie and claim the stars as his own. And then one night, he dreamt of treasure on London Bridge. Surrounded by stalls, he saw his box of treasure lying untouched, calling out to him. It was only a dream, but a dream that he dreamt twice more. And thrice is enough for any reasonable man to know that opportunity awaits. And opportunity is impatient. So the next day, with the pack on his bag, under the pack on his back and a dog by his heels, under the wide Norfolk sky, he began the long trek to London town. And there were no buses or trams or tubes, and no cars to hitch a ride. So it took him two whole days and a night <coughs> to, to reach London Bridge. And there he found it swarming with people, and shops and stalls selling wares of every kind, silk as smooth as butter, glittering red in the sun from China. Or the smell of exotic spice filling your senses, strange and alluring from India. And perfumes fragrant and alien from Arabia. And pies and cakes of every kind, but he did not see any of that. He just sought his treasure. And clambering, crawling, squirming and wriggling through the crowd, he reached the spot where he thought his treasure lay. And he did not find so he went to the other side and he sought his treasure there and he did not find it. And squirming and crawling and clambering to the crowds every day for the next three days he sought his treasure. But there was no treasure to be found and with every hour that passed his heart sank lower and lower. And then on the third day with his head on his hands. He sighed a sigh that would hit your heart like a stone. He nodded sadly and very. And a trader came up to him and said, Friend, I've seen you clambering and crawling and squirming and wriggling through the crowds. Are you looking for something? Are you a buyer? No, I have no money. So, are you a beggar? I will be tomorrow. What are you doing here then? Well, I, I dreamt of treasure. You dreamt of, of treasure? Why, if every fool had to, had to dream, had to follow his dreams, just, just last night, I dreamt of a pot of gold by an oak tree in Norfolk. And how I know it is Norfolk? Because, because the land was flat and the sky was white, but did I go there? Digging for treasure? No, I'm here, standing, talking sense to a fool. There are no treasures to be found here. There are no dreams to be dreamt here. This is a city. So go back home, my friend, and do what you do. There's nothing for you here. But the, but the peddler, he just looked at him, stunned and open-mouthed, with his eyes as wide as the skies over Norfolk, because the trader had just described his old tree. And he thanked him and with a pack on his back and a dog by his heels, he 
rushed back home and at double speed, panting and running. He ran as fast as he could and he reached Norfolk and he reached Swarfham and he reached his orchard and in the orchard he reached his, reached his oak tree and started digging all around it, digging, digging, digging. And it took him a whole day to dig all, all around his oak tree and he found a pot. And in the silver light of the moon filtering through the leaves, his gold glittered like a million little stars, the stars that he had counted as his own. And in that one instant, the poor peddler of Norfolk became rich. And he did not forget his dream. And he believed in every one of them. And one of the dreams he had was to help others dream. So he built a school and he built a library and he built a museum. So all the people in Swafam could learn of the world and the treasures it held. And they could dream of seeking out those treasures. And they would follow their dream. And they would all be happy. They would all be rich. And many years later when he died, a happy man. They built a statue of him, pointing with his one hand out. But he wasn't pointing left or right or east or west. No, he was pointing up at the sky to the stars as if counting them and claiming them as his own. And so, ladies and gentlemen, when you go home tonight and you lie in your bed, don't forget to dream. Those dreams.